Hey, yeah. Well, this is my Rockat Rios MK Pro keyboard, and I wanted to customize it a bit. I already made a video about these three buttons being hard to press. I have managed to take the keyboard apart and this uh, thing is actually responsible has the switches for those three buttons here these are the actual the actual switches this keyboard uses i have managed to order three other types of switches they are actually omron switches and they require um, about 100 gram force to be uh, actuated this from the feel of it require about two or three times that force these are the switches of this type that have the least actuation force um, needed to work they are also uh, off on switches when you press them they actually um, make contact they mechanically do a contact uh, so they actually switch on when they are not pressed they switch off they are rated at about 1 million uh, uh, clicks life cycles so they will last me a lot be careful when you're desoldering this off because uh, as you can see <laughs> I kind of screwed bad my board it was pretty tough to actually disolder them down with a 50 watts um, soldering gun this is my soldering gun it's a 50 watts I believe no actually 130 30 watts to 130 watts max so yeah. another thing when you take off the keyboard when you take apart the keyboard you need to know that you have to unscrew these things these screws here 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 and there is also a screw right here in this about where at the tip of my finger yeah if I if you see I'm actually pressing the paper down and you can see where the hole is it's about there also there are three screws on the downsides of the keyboard one is about here at this distance one is exactly at the middle of the keyboard of the keyboard and one is here also here this uh, rubber is actually glued down and it will if you take a screwdriver you can actually or a knife you can actually easily take it apart just from the side just enough to unscrew the screws also there is another screw around this edge
as you can see. And the same goes for this side. And the last two screws are here. In the superior part of the keyboard. Right here. And also here. If you unscrew those, you can start taking apart the keyboard. I recommend you to take all the F uh, row of keys uh, up, um, to take the caps. I pulled the, all the F keys and also the keys here and the escape key and the spacebar key before I took the superior part the cover of the keyboard off um, you have to keep in mind that this thing is actually caught both in these two in these plastic clippers and also here there is a another um, two clippers one okay let me zoom one on this side on one here and there are also if you can see it here this is like a um, plastic that goes through this holes so when you take the keyboard apart you should try and put something a screw or something maybe softer on this side and easily push it upwards or maybe just try and uh, the same thing on the superior side of the keyboard also don't pull the cover all the way up because this this plug goes in this slot and you might risk um, breaking up these wires so yeah you have to pull the cover about um, two to three centimeters high and then you will just have to um, try and force this out this actually took quite a lot of force I actually had to put the screwdriver around the edges to force it a bit and then I uh, cut all the wires and pulled it out using quite a lot of force and that would actually the cover just uh, three centimeters over the keys. After that, you can just pull the cover, the top off, and you can work to customize your keyboard if you want to. For me, the problem was the thumb buttons were pretty hard to press, and now with this. I think it will be just the right amount considering the mouse click buttons require 70 uh, gram force to be actuated and this actually require a bit more about 100 so it will be just the right amount considering your big thumb actually has quite a lot of force in it